Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Father's Frontier. In the previous episode where we left off last, we discovered these iron deposits, um, these, these iron ore deposits. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a couple of mines to maybe not a couple, maybe one, obviously to start off with. Um, and then I think we're going to set up a temporary shelter out here and another hunter shack for the boars. Uh, we can actually get the boar stuff going as well. Um, there's a couple of other spots up here for iron. So we've hit a very good iron kind of location, which I think is great. Um, yeah, and then I think the, the, the reason why we need the iron, and it's been something that we have wanted to implement for quite some time, is if we go to... I think it was here, was it? Um, Ah, yes, it's for the blacksmith orge. F orge? <laughs> the blacksmith forge, sorry. Um, but obviously we'll need the foundry as well so that we can actually process it, which is really... So this is, this is something that I, I guess is interesting for me as well to learn. And you'll see there that the cost is a part from a blacksmith. All right. But now in order for the blacksmith to actually produce that item, it too costs an item from the blacksmith, but also it requires the, the, the products from the foundry, which basically means that if we don't get that part through trading, at least one, I suppose two makes more sense. But if we don't get one or two items from that trading, then we just can't set up the foundry. And that's, that's a very interesting thing for me. Um, cause those are not cheap at all. So we'll, we'll have to just figure that out when it comes to it. But I think for the moment we can, I don't know. I don't even know if it's actually worth getting this, getting these, these mines up and running now at this point, because now that I think about it, if we don't have all of that, then we're kind of just mining all for the sake of it. And we really kind of spread a bit thin. Or, or should I say there's other things that I would like to maybe just focus on first before and over and above everything else. We need a tier three, a, a tier three town center. So, okay, um, that is a very, that's very interesting for me. I also just feel like it's, it's a very interesting thing that we have the ability to put down a mine, but I suppose we could also just sell the ore for the interim, or we could stockpile it until we do actually unlock this, and that way we can get things going, yeah, I suppose. I suppose but i think for i think the biggest thing for now is just to just check our workforce see what's happening um i mean i'm still not unhappy with this with this layout to be honest not hugely um i think something that i'm i'm still also curious about is exactly what benefit the school gave us it says provides a basic education oh it, provide, it boosts the work rate for villagers so some professions require educated workers but i mean that's you know that's uh i guess only going to really benefit us later on yeah okay cool um and since it's a new year we should also be expecting a trader to come in that's probably these folks that are just traipsing through the middle of nowhere um <laughs> but overall i think we're okay we're starting the year off good we've got a good amount of food supply the crops seem to be okay only the one field has a bit of an issue but that's neither here nor there um a very small percentage of food spoilage that's fine I think we built another one of these. Yep, we did. There's the other root cellar over there. So that's got... So that should also reduce the amount of food that we spoil. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to... We'll just have to see. So... Hopefully these traders will, you know, take a look at our shoes and, 
and pottery because that's what we have loaded in. I think the trader's coming in over there to the right. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait. And also on top of that, okay, they'll sort that out. On top of that as well, we are still waiting for livestock before we can... And they don't have livestock. Nope. But they do have these. Do you see what I'm saying? 332 gold for one heavy tool. That is absolutely insane. And okay, so we can kind of have a good look at the, what the, what the hell is this? Oh, interesting. Okay. Um. So five a piece for iron ore. I wonder how much one mine would produce. Okay, that's fine for now. The iron bars, I mean, it's actually just a wonder. Maybe we should, maybe we should actually just buy the iron bars from her instead of mining the damn ore. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. Um, well, that's kind of annoying. Seems like she's selling everything more expensive and buying everything cheaper. Which, like I said, really annoying. Maybe we want to hold out. We're not exactly running short at the moment. You know what? I'm going to hold out until the other trader gets here. There's usually two that come per year. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Our fruit trees seem to be planting quite nicely, which is great. Really happy about that. Um, okay, folks are starting, staying away from the wolf then, I guess. I don't know why the buildings are catching fire so much. Really interesting. Um, I'm just trying to see what, uh... So that's the desirability stuff. Okay. Instead of harvesting... I mean, like I said, you know, we could put up another shrine, I guess, which would increase the desirability, but... I don't know, I just feel like that's... There is a festival pole. Okay. We'll have a look in a second. The new traveler has arrived as well. So let's have a look at what he's selling. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. I think we definitely want to transfer that stuff. Uh. You know what? We'll do 10. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I guess. And again, no livestock. I feel like this barn is starting to become a, a waste of time. Um, the baskets, we'll just do 15, I guess. Shoes, they're already there. Soap, we'll do 15. Because I know we still need it as well. Cool. So... Let's get those items transferred. I'm actually going to wait right here. Just kind of hang around. Because I don't want him to depart, obviously, before. We, try we stock the items. Uh, sorry. Then, what else? Okay, Let's see, it's another, another lot of food spoilage happening. I don't know why. Yeah, that's the one trader departing. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what? That's fine. Hmm. Just go 
you know what leave it let's just sell yeah let's pretty much sell what we have okay he's got 39 days still we're just waiting for the few pelts to come in but in the meantime we can sell yeah sell the baskets we can sell and then we'll wait a second or two for the hides to come in as well I wonder if that's another trader. Let's hope. Okay. Let's sell what we have here, because we have only got one pot left. And then how do I stop this from being confirmed? Oh. Okay, let's say zero. And zero. Great. Yep, second trader arrived. Come on. Yes. 600 for one whole cow. Holy shit. Um I forgot though they were that expensive. Hmm. I think it might be worth selling. Yeah. Let's do this. 12. It's also kind of why we have this. And then... Actually, let's do 120. Seems fair. Hmm. Like, I just want to make sure that these trades can go through so that we can get that livestock. Because we really desperately need to start putting some of that stuff to use i mean we have that barn bolt and oh, for five six oh that's why got you okay two of them are not stocking one item so that's great never mind okay uh let's let that on its course for a bit um yeah so we've got the farmers doing their thing how on earth do you have scurvy we literally produce our own fruit okay then bud <laughs> uh 25 days there's one missing Come on. Just stock the last item, bud. Here we go. Great stuff. Was that 600? Okay. We technically have enough here to buy two. I'm wondering if we... I mean... Is that going to give us enough to breed? I don't think one, one cow is not going to give us anything. Uh, um, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. We are fine. So, so remember, we could also buy logs and stuff from them, but we've got so many resources around us. I don't think that's necessary. Nineteen days. I don't know if we can get the baskets in time. We could try. Although I don't think it's mm, nah. So it's okay. Okay, select a barn for the cows. Fodder herd status is healthy. Great. Which means we need. How many farmers would we need? I think one should be fine. Yeah. So will the barn cattle can be raised for food, hides, and milk. Cattle must be purchased from visiting trade at the post. Tools are needed to work efficiently at this building. Now, 
another interesting thing is the tier four to upgrade damn that's intense now um that's what i want to understand the birth rate can these two breed sure okay well livestock health hunger then go and eat by all means there is so much grazing opportunities for you it's all over the place uh 34 oh geez a lot of food being spoiled yeah um then just having a look at the market here so again the problem is with the the bricks obviously gold ingots and stuff we can't up, well we can upgrade sorry because that's fine cool um low on laborers sufficiency sure Okay, look, everyone's very happy. Uh, food stores, we've got seven months worth of food, apparently. Uh, the farming season is going to come to an end, or I think in most cases it has. So that's okay. Um, once it has come to an end, then... As we've always done, we'll reallocate the workers. I'm trying to... I'm trying to just think. I think maybe the iron ore stuff will leave until next year. In, in, in game. Yeah. Uh, we're building up a good store of wood. Firewood and obviously the wood planks. Um, it means that we're not... Also, it's because we're not building as much. But that's a good thing. It is actually a good thing because... Uh... Just trying to have a look at, I don't actually think, you know what, we don't produce enough, so we're gonna just disable that. Why is nobody a Fletcher? Yeah. Building is low and build it, okay, alright, we'll get there. How do you not have items? Yeah. I'm still wondering if hunting shack, if we should actually be getting another hunting shack as well. Because there's actually a couple of deer still roaming around. In terms of food, but oh, we're not running out of food. The pulse could be helpful though. Okay. Um. Cool. Now that it's getting a bit colder, it's great. Okay, there's a wolf den out here. Just wondering... Oh, what is that? Ah, clay deposit. Gotcha. Uh, four buildings need more workers. Let's have a look. What is this? I'm gonna actually just... Tone that down a bit. And then... What do we need to upgrade here? We need clay. And 2,000 gold. Oh, 200. Okay. So 150. Uh... Is this a homestead? Oh, the homestead is the upgraded building. Upgraded, uh... Shelters, sorry. So essentially we need town center, basic world, school, market, shrine. So basically let's, we need to just try and increase the desirability a little bit for the homestead to increase, right?
Um, let's have a look at the bonus. Oh, jeez, I got worried there for a second. Um, sorry, I've just realized we don't need 10 farmers. Not that, you know, we need... Let's go auto-refill. For the time being. I mean, I don't know why zero people are builders now. We don't need builders because we're not building anything, obviously. That makes sense. So additional income, additional durability, additional income. Now that's, that's, now you're speaking my language. So perhaps getting the desirability up is actually a, a helpful thing. So I'm going to, that's a graveyard. It's not going to help us. Again, I'm not against building a shrine, but it does mean another monthly cost. And it's just something we can't really afford. To be very honest, the temple is a similar story. Hang on. How does it... Oh, a thousand gold. That's intense. 150. Okay. We have a school. Right. We've got a trading post. Red catcher. Yeah, that's not really something we're having a problem with. Uh huh. Got you. Housing. That's not going to help. Um, just trying to have a look here. That's, yeah, I didn't think storage was really going to make a difference. I mean, I guess services is what's going to really bring up desirability, huh? There's a bakery. Problem is we don't have flour. but well, we can't mold flour at the moment. Yeah. Again, we need that, 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 that part, which is hellishly expensive. Like, ridiculously. Okay, uh, resources. Let's have a look. No, all of these. It's a basic well. Could provide. I mean, there's one right there, though. I don't know how much that's going to help us. Mm hmm. I guess there is the festival ball. There is that. Um. Maybe what we can also do, sorry, I was just thinking about it, is let's relocate this building to, say, over here. Because then we'll get rid of the 30% the penalty. Is it 30%, sorry? 30? Or well, whatever. Ugh. Hang on. Relocate. Tab. Thank you. Uh, no, that's going to impact those houses then. It does kind of make sense to put it out here though, considering, yeah. Uh, if we did that, that works. Sorry, I just wanted to build a dirt road. Going across. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is also, let's have a look at the hunter stuff. I think maybe something we can focus on would be to look at how we could upgrade these these buildings. The problem is, again, the, like the iron... Um, Additional item recipes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Uh. Actually, I'm not upset about that. 
And I'm not upset about that one either. To be very honest. Hang on. This one? Carrots? Oh, I mean. It's a pink root rot, which affects leeks. Which is great, it means we have cabbage. Okay, is this thing actually working in my favor? Seems like it. Great. Now, uh, for the ore, I've realized that it would be silly for us actually not to just even attempt to try and mine some ore because uh, that way, even if we can't use it right now, we very much could sell it. Or should I say we could very much sell it? That's the right way to say that. Um, yeah. So it doesn't make sense not to um yeah not to not to start not to start mining it sorry okay let's go over aha uh -huh. hang on okay I'm gonna do that. And then there, there, there. Cool. So what we'll do is we'll put this. Where's the temporary shelter? Shelter? Nope. Sorry, under housing. Do temporary shelters. I think we'll put it. Put it there. And I think that should be good. Oh yes, I also wanted to put um hunting shack out here. So free production. Hunter's cabin is the word. Then we'll go. Should we build two? Let's do it. Okay. And look also, when this gets built, it gets built. Alright, there's no... Okay, we do need six people for... for building, unfortunately. So... Let's have a think. Okay. Who knows? Maybe we'll even have... What is this? Oh, tallow. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe we'll even have some fresh new folks join the town rather soon. Although we might need to build more houses. Which is fine. Uh, so, which also means that I think... Sorry, because it's because this actually has worked for us in the past, which is just making sure that we have, even if we have to bring down a couple of folks, really fine. Like the weavers and the potters and stuff, all of these guys are super helpful and they're, and they're great, but we just don't need two of them at a given time, which actually makes me wonder, maybe we should go to the buildings themselves and reduce those people for now. No, actually, this works out fine. This works out perfectly fine. So fishermen, forager, grocer, yeah, those, these, these people we need um, to actually make our food. So that's fine. Miners, I'm going to drop to half. We're okay. The work camps, it's fine. Right. And I actually think that I am going to build another cabin out here. And then once that's built, then it will also be for the deer. A 
And then what I think also, sorry, what I think we'll do is we'll optimize the cabins to have sort of a, you know, all around the, whatchamacallit, um, sorry, I'm trying to think of the words now and I just can't, town, village, that's the word. Cool. So, yeah, hopefully, see, that shelter's upgrading, that shelter's upgrading, which means that even moving that saw pit, you know, once has been incredibly helpful. Livestock animal born. Look at that. Guys, we're on the up and up. It's happening. It's happening. What's happening um <laughs> let's look at what this guy has to offer us um okay so we've got quite a bit of herbs sorry really, yeah he's buying them for below average so let's maybe not do that i think we could offer quite a bit of the honey that we have as well as the stone Because the stone is not something we've had a problem generating at the moment. In fact, we've actually had to, we actually cut back on the stone generation so we could kind of stock up on wood, to be fair. So that's fine. Let's, I'm going to transfer a hundred. Yep. And then here, let's do 40. Yep. Seems about right. It's below average though, so it would be nice to know what the average actually is. But no, I'm going to hold on to that. Because that doesn't seem sensical to trade anything at below, especially if we don't need to, you know. And plus, we've also got, we've got some other traders that will probably come in as well. Um... What is the benefit of a crossbow? Wonder. It's crude weapons. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. I think once the homesteads start, you know, ramping up a little bit, which they will also start doing in, in hopefully in a bit. Um, once these start just upping themselves. Uh, firewood splitter is 10. So that's something actually that maybe would be helpful. Is for us to go through each building and see if there are things affecting it negatively. See if, if we can relocate them. So that we can get the homestead, homesteads, sorry. You know, get going a little bit more. Um, because I think that's also going to increase how much the market brings in. I could be wrong though. To be very honest. But that would make sense in my mind. Okay. Um, what do we got? Can we have a candle maker? Or do we? did we just say we wanted to make... I can't remember at this point. Huh. Interesting. Uh, cool. Clothes. Look, we are a bit short on gold, to be fair. So, it would be great if... You know what, I'm just going to sell five. And then we've still got the pots. Which is below average. But at the same token, we can still sell it. Um, since that's there, I'm going to sell this in the meantime. Yep. The stone is still being transferred. Oh, it's her. Got you. Nine villages graduated. Fantastic. I don't think that the school was a bad idea, to be honest. I just think that it was... Ah, sorry. So this is what I'm talking about. I've seen, obviously, Dear Rome...
couple of places. So I'm going to just put one there. See, because if... Sorry. See what I'm saying? There's deer up there. So that's why this person can kind of focus on that area. This person can focus on sort of this area. And then this guy can focus on that area. And then there's a beautiful little overlap in between over there. I know that there's deer and stuff that come out this way too. I know. Oh no. Okay. Cool. Great stuff. Well, I say great stuff, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the birth rate is gonna increase. That's that's fine. I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Um we're still waiting for these to come in. In the meantime, let's just sell these. I know it's not great, but sometimes you gotta trade what you gotta trade. And then On top of it, what else are we waiting? So we're just waiting for that item. No. No, we weren't just waiting for that item. Yep. All the stone. So it's fine. Or oh, let me rather do this. What's in... How much is in there now? 77. So, that's okay. Cool. Oh, because... What? Okay, 30 days. We've got 30 days to make this trade. Please make this trade. Come on, make the trade. We need a bit of a gold injection. Okay, cool. Great. And then we're going to transfer it to the town storage. Cool beans. Is no one, is no one gonna... The animal has gone rogue and is wandering off. It's the freaking cows! Are you kidding? Okay. Cool. I've lost 186 cabbages. Which is going to be a genuine problem. It's going to be an actual problem. So then we need to... Okay, the feed stores. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think two is probably going to be helpful. Sorry, uh, I'm just trying to figure out here. Holdings grazing area. Got you. The bonus is 85 at this point here. Huh? So I'm a bit worried about putting it there because there is a wolf den. Supposedly. Close by. So. While I'm going to move it. Here. Yeah. I'm going to move it there. And hopefully they'll... We lost 230 cabbages to the animals. Wild. That's insane. Hope we're going to have enough food. I really do. I see this icon popping up quite often. So I think it is something we need to, to look at doing. Resources? Oh, well. Um, it, it pops up there regularly. So I'm actually just going to put a well done. Tannery. Got you. Okay. 
that's cool oh yes and we've got are these mines and everything yep this mine is up and going let's have a look I mean, I think two people, considering we don't actually have a lot of resources right now. And then I think this one will probably do here as well. So I can only see that one see if huh no uh-huh we could explore further out this way maybe could give us some cool great all righty what I was saying is, sorry, two two people for an iron mine, I'm not unhappy with because, you know, we're not exactly needing the resources at the moment, if that makes sense, right? Okay, so close to the town center, the basic world school market shrine. I'm wondering if we, I wonder if we put a shrine... So food seems to be a concern. Shoes, clothes, cleanliness. Villagers producing a steady stream of luxury items. No idea how. But okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the, the food supply is going to take a bit of a knock because of the bloody cows that ate all my stuff. Freaking 200 cabbages. Wild. Yeah, dude. Sort Daisy out. Get her act together, please. Huh. The village is under attack. Where are the raiders coming from? Aha! Over here. And what? These dickheads. Okay. Let's sound the ch let's sound the town bell. Which I believe. Oh, he's running away. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we'll keep this. We'll keep the town ball running until the yes. <laughs> one raid is attacking. One village is fighting. Thirteen have been killed. So I think the I think one managed to run away in time so i think we're fine total garrison villages cool um yeah i think i think i think things are getting better as we're starting to understand things okay raiders killed 14 villages no one died and nothing got destroyed amazing and nothing got pillaged That is amazing. That is truly amazing. And the, the, like what I'm really excited about is that we haven't actually needed to worry about fencing and walls just yet. Like I know it would be helpful and we kind of do have the wood for it, I guess. But I think that's, I think that's amazing. 
I think that's really working out super well for us. Okay, village has been cured. All right, so we got, we made some pretty decent progress today. Villager happiness has shot back up. We've got some good food stores. Um, I know we lost a lot of crops to... Yeah, I know, I know we lost a lot of crops to animals, but we've moved the grazing spots. Look, if that doesn't work, I know it's not a great way of looking about it, but if that doesn't work, then it might be worth then obviously looking at the fencing and really putting up, you know, fencing to guard the farms and stuff. But yeah, I, I just don't want to... I don't know if it's worth worrying about now. Let me refill. Okay. Bring the amount of farmers down because nobody's farming. Again. Potter. Weavers. I said auto refill now. Great. Great. Happy. Well, I say happy, but... Uh, Because the, the thing is, no one's working on the farms, right? There's, there's nothing. There's no one anything can do. So, I'm wondering if it's worth... Weeding out again. But I don't think so, to be very honest. Fertility's getting a bit low. So, this, this field... The fertility is quite low, but now it said it was supposed to have... Um, the auto composting. Yeah. For me, it would be great if we could manually override that. Because if we go to the compost yard, which is here. Yeah. Now, this is the thing. So auto compost is on lowest fertility at the moment. Um, yeah. I just think for... For one yard, that is four gold a month. Okay. And that has 300 pieces in storage. I, I just feel like there should be an option. And I really would love to see this get implemented. It would be great if we could have an option to manually fertilize with compost. Because we have got a lot of compost. And I just feel like that is yeah i don't know because the thing is sorry also if we turn this off if we say auto composting off there's no manual way to compost so i don't know how to like yeah i don't know anyway i mean i guess it's it's something something also just to keep in mind again you know when we say all of these things it is important to remember that this is still pretty early on um in terms of early access. So a lot of things are still being developed and tweaked and, and everything else. So I just wanted to put that out there. It's important to remember that point. You know. Um, having a look at this. The only thing negatively impacting is the firewood splitter. Which is here. Great. So... Let's relocate this building. I think we relocate it to our sort of more industrial side of town, shall we say? Yeah. We relocate it there. The reason being is because I really feel like we should have as much. And it might even be worth relocating the market. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Might be worth relocating the market to somewhere around here. We could relocate a house. We could move things around. Um, we could also, I think, sorry, before I forget, I want to build another shelter here. Yeah. Reason being is because we want as much as possible surrounding the town square and the things that are going to improve desirability. That's, that's the big thing. 
is we want to improve the desirability. I can't believe the healer's house has got such little impact on desirability. You would think. You would think. Yeah. Um. Great. Shrine. Yeah. Basic well. Town center. That's what I'm saying. Short of trying to compact as much around the town center as possible. We need to start... Yeah, just thinking a bit more strategically around how to optimize homesteads um, or shelters to become homesteads and things like that. Like if we look at this one, the 35% desirability comes from the town center, basic well, healer's house, school market, and the shrine. So if we could move the market, say, here, which I know is not ideal because this is where the deep clay deposit is, because uh, the market's not reaching these ones anyway, which is unfortunate. But also, the same token, if we move the market down here. Yeah. The storehouse, actually, you know what? The storehouse needs to move as well. And on top of that, the market, maybe the market should move here. Yeah. We could even move the well over because I don't know how big... I can't remember how big the market... Let's see. Just using... Huh. Maybe... You know what? Maybe adding another market is not a bad idea. Just simply adding one but definitely move it this side even here uh no sorry <clears throat> definitely here increases that desirability there's a lot of houses on that side though that also need desirability Yeah. Because I'm wondering if we move it... To somewhere out there. We could build a whole bunch of houses around it. Kind of like what we did with Kingdoms Reborn. What an interesting turn of events. Or, what if we even place it here? Because we could have a similar effect. I like it. We're doing it. And the fact that it doesn't cost more gold. And who knows? Maybe this will even help us go. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I really don't. Uh, the shrines. Now, something important to remember the shrines, though, is that it is a monthly cost, unfortunately. Can we afford the four gold? We can. We can, I guess. Uh, yeah, and then also we got no farmers. So there's that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, once again, potters. Now, I know it seems also a little bit wasteful considering, you know, we're taking away most of these uh, professions from the biggest time of the year. But once again, until we have more people who can fill up these slots. Okay, let's do six. Let's see what happens. Um, cool. Yeah. I, f I feel like we should prioritize farmers, though. That's fine. We're okay. We don't really need to gather resources at the moment. Terribly. So, let's see. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If we can get the desirability up, then that would be fantastic. What is the radius as to which this...
town center impacts. Okay, so it's quite... Okay, so we're talking about here, right? Yeah. So... If we're talking there, I wonder if that'll equate there. The problem is the desirability doesn't show anything there. Because then... I'm wondering if we're not silly and if we're also again maximizing a lot of these things so move the stockyard to somewhere out the way could move it out there we could even just move it up over here when i do that huh that's interesting so obstructed by building obstructed by building oh, hang on sorry because then i'm just making the same mistakes aren't i basket shop because we've got a lot of desirable elements out this side as well that we should focus on healer's house is a shrine so let's look at this homestead quickly uh, town center, basic wall, healer's house, the school, market, and shrine. See, again, school is something that we should also be looking at. So, <laughs> jeez, man, this is a lot. This is actually insane. I can't believe we've never really looked at this. Because now that I'm thinking about it, it is incredibly unoptimized. Okay, I think we've got a lot of work to do. Um... Because like I said, if we can move the stockyard, and we could even move, maybe move this crop set further out here, and we, we can expand. So what we should do is actually set up a new crop field, and then destroy this one, salvage it, since we can't relocate. But that's okay. That's okay. I feel like that's fine. Um, so, sorry, let me, let me, let me try and get you into my thinking here. So the, the point that I'm thinking of all of this is we obviously want to maximize the school and the town center and obviously this market set particularly, but that's not, that's neither here nor there. So what I'm going to, what I'm thinking of doing is everything within this market that's not a house is moved, right? So this root cellar this root cellar these crops although mind you these crops can stay where they are I'm not terribly fussed about them um because either that or we need to move the market over to the left a little bit move this over right because that's a lot of like industrial buildings that we could also just kind of you know lift and shift and then, yeah, the reason being is because this town square obviously has a certain radius, right? So the market might even be beneficial if we moved it up a bit. There's no, currently there's no space. Exactly. Or we could take the market and put it there, which is worth thinking about. Just making sure that that circle is obviously set up. Um, I don't think we need to worry too much about what we'd lose relocating it. I think we'd be fine. Um, while we're discussing, let's things, let's let things run in the background. So the second market is also now up and running. And my thinking is that we also, so again, focus on building new homesteads around here. The reason being is because I think the school reaches... The school reaches here as well so if we put up if we think of the school in the market as almost the center we could even put up a shrine actually right here but so there's a shrine right there and i feel like this would yeah the shrine impacts here as well okay cool two children have grown up new villages are born three children have grown up sorry Okay. 
that'll hopefully increase soon so that's what i'm saying i'm just thinking like this big move this we move that these two we move we move them out i don't know somewhere else i think it's still worth looking at keeping them close to where the food is because that's the only reason we've actually put it up for the most part you know but also like i said these little areas now like here we can put a homestead here that's right next to the school we can put a homestead here we can move the root cellar out somewhere else and just try and optimize this place a little bit i mean look we built that in this episode we built that and this is a really upgrading to a homestead so that still says 13 but i'm wondering if that's what I'm thinking. I'm wondering if by increasing so the homesteads, it gives us, as you can see, the upgrade bonuses increase uh, additional income. So I'm wondering if the increased income won't mean an increase in purchasing stuff, which maybe means we should also then worry about, no, I don't know, because produced materials is only firewood. I mean, milk is something we're getting from the barn, I guess. Need winter feedstock. Interesting. I'll have to have a look what that means. Um, okay, cool. Like I said, we've got a lot of, I think, a lot of city planning to kind of organize um, and just to optimize everything. Hopefully that will sort some stuff out. But guys, for now, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button while you there, why not consider subscribing as well. Really helps out the channel. Really does. And um, yeah, until I see you guys again next time. Cheers.